Hi folks, it's John Perry here from Donegal in Ireland from Food Blogger Marketing Boilover and our website for web development for foodies and digital marketing is cateredwebsites.com. I just want to show you guys the new feature that's been released for WordPress Recipe Maker and it's all about this add to collection feature and it's really, really cool, really useful features. It's only available in the elite version of the plugin. I'll put links to all this information in the comments under the video. And the new feature that the add to collection offers is, is that when you roll over it like this, I'm on just a, a normal recipe post. I'm not logged into the website. It's just a testing a recipe post I have here. And the thing is, the new options Normally, what we would do is, if we didn't want to use the add to collection feature, we wouldn't have the button in the recipe card. I'll get to ad editing the recipe template now in a moment, but I just want to tell you what I'm going to cover here. Normally, if we weren't using the add to collection, we wouldn't have it in the card, but now we have a feature that when somebody rolls over it like this we can have a message here that's just the default message that i have there and we can also have the link set up that when someone clicks on the add to collection button that it'll go to any other page we want on the website what i'm getting at is if you're running some type of foodie membership site we can now have this feature only available to members and it's really really easy to set up it's in the settings there previously there was ways of doing it of course with editing the recipe cards which, you know it just takes a bit of working out but it was possible but it just gets really easy now and the guys are doing it's a brilliant plugin the guys are doing fantastic work over there it's a great investment for your website if you need help setting this up get in touch with me there on facebook or directly on our website and i'll be able to help you guys out with this so we'll get to setting it up now here's a demo membership uh, website that i have for showing people what we're able to do here at catered websites and this allows people to diversify their income it could be for nutritionists private chefs food bloggers absolutely anybody that has an interest in food related business that we can help them out what we can do here is offer a uh, meal plans and batch cooking plans in our foodie classroom and catering services we have a premium recipes section we can set up meal delivery like for takeaway for a restaurant and personal chef services special meals for special occasions and gift cards and we can even do websites for food trucks there so and cookery classes are booming in popularity online over zoom we can set that up for you guys we can do online booking for that there as well. And we have order pages and all set up. So, and recipe submission there for people that want to submit recipes and build community around your brand. And we have a full digital shop here. We can sell kitchen coaching, gift vouchers again, and eBooks, all that stuff. Anything is possible, folks. And we have a lovely professional looking account page here when you log in and then we have links to courses as well so we can set that up for you as well a full lms learner management system with payments we can do all that there so it's really cool yeah there we go we can go to the account page actually and just what i've done as well when you go I've done some personalization as well. When people log into their account, their name will be there. And when we go to into the batch cooking plans or the meal plans, and we can see that the recipes are there. And when somebody clicks on that, the recipe pops down like that. So you have daily recipes there. So we can do batch plans or just ordinary meal plans for people that aren't into batch and just two different variations of this and we have a notes and tips section again i have personalization here when somebody logs in that their name will be there it's whatever name that they registered with like up there whatever name is registered in wordpress but yeah we can i have a feature as well actually that we can have a video here as well so each week they get photographs and a video talking about 
the week's meal plans and we have a notes and tips section here about ingredients say give alternatives for foods that people might be allergic to like nuts and dairy and gluten all that stuff we've thought of everything and so there we have the shopping list generator and you can change the portions there and generate your shopping list and then we have the prep guide people can check things off as they do them so you're super super organized you're a kitchen coach you're helping people to make better food decisions is badly needed been talking to some guys there and we all agree about that people are hungry for education about food as well and learning about different cultures so we can do anything you could use this for uh, running fitness classes as well slimming classes you know build community again around your brand but there's the recipes for your batching day is there and that's how that works so it's super cool so we want to get back to this is related obviously to the recipe collections it's a big part of this so i wanted to show you guys there what's possible there i built that myself it's a custom solution actually that i built but here we are we want to go into wordpress recipe maker and we want to go into settings and we want to go down to recipe collections and here we have it so you want to what you want to do is control a control c see this here folks you want to set up a page i have a page called recipe collections you can see it there i'll actually go to the page and show it to you control a control c just copy and paste that there's our site folks going to be launched launched very very shortly now over the next few weeks hopefully a lot sooner all these things take more time than you initially think of and so here we are we go to a uh, recipe collections page and when you put in when we go to edit page just show you that works folks it's quite simple all i've done there that's the gutenberg short code block and all i've done is it's up there all you do folks is copy that go over to your page and paste it in there and just save and publish so that's it that's all you have to do it's that simple and then when you when somebody saves a recipe collection they'll be brought to that page and it'll show their own individual account is how that works there so that's how to do that that's quite important to set up the recipe collection page because if you don't do that this won't work it's as simple as that you have to put it there so here we go access to recipe collections to use these new features that are added to the add to collection button you want to i'll show you now if we leave that to everyone we don't have these new features so what you want to do is access to recipe collections logged in users and there's the message remember when i rolled over the button and it didn't do anything because i was logged out that's the message there so what you could do there is just have a little um like i showed you on the yes chef meal plan membership website that's where you'd put the message to say that this feature is only available to members so it's a great little idea to get leads for your membership site and everything else said the guys are doing great work and support is excellent with the guys there as well they're really fast on response if you have any technical problems with this so we want to go to logged in users there that's the message and um, this is just what happens when clicking the add collection button users does a choice here the recipe gets added to the inbox there or people get to a user can choose the collection to add the recipe to so the great thing about this folks is that when people are, are adding recipes okay they can create a collection say birthday party say they have a birthday party coming up for their son or something they could save all those recipes that they really like for occasions things like that so you're building brand loyalty they'll keep using your application and that's what we want we want to build brand loyalty and we want to build community around the 
brand and have a load of followers and be really su successful and help people as well make better food decisions that's what it's all about educating people you know so um yeah that's where the recipe gets added after clicking the button at the bottom of the collection or at the top so that's just at the top or at the bottom simple as that yep so and it's a brilliant plugin although it's it can be complicated there's so much in it but um once you play around with it for a while folks you get used to it and you know your way around and uh, just some things can take a bit of working out so there we go here's the button options remember that over on that nutritionist site when i hovered over the button it didn't do anything okay and all we got was that message um so here we go and so the button doesn't do anything we can hide the button or we can take the user to a specific page now that's really really good i'm going to i'm going to save that and what i want to do i am actually using i just go back to my dashboard I'm using the page builder called Beaver Builder for this site. And the thing is, when you make a change on the site, it actually, if we go to visit the site without clearing the cache, our change won't show up. So you've probably heard about cache, just varnish cache and things, and that can get quite complicated. But it's good to be aware of this, that we want to clear the cache memory under tools there and then everything will be okay when we go to visit that site we'll be able to see now that when we click on the recipe collections button it'll bring us to the sales landing page on the yes chef site so i'm actually going from one site to the other there but that doesn't really matter folks it's um it's just so here we are folks i'm back on the nutritionist uh, demo site here for this tutorial so after making the change we want to refresh the page otherwise it might not work so there we are we just just visit the site and go back to our blog we can see this site's loading really really fast we offer a very premium hosting service as well we work with some of the best providers in the world actually with wordpress sites so here we are when we go to add to collection there's our message we can say this feature is only available for members when they click on the button and there we are folks this is where we go to the meal plan sales landing page and we talk about the service that we're offering we have a video here to explain to people what it's all about they can access meal plans on their phones it actually looks like an app on the phone it's really really good spent a lot of time building this folks it's after taking about six months so here we are recipe collection shopping list generator that works on their phone so it's a full application they can bring they can when they're in the supermarket they can log in they can set the amount of portions that they want and they go home then and do their batch um cooking if they're doing the batch cooking and they can even check things off folks on their phone as they're purchasing things so you know that it means people will be super organized and they'll be able to cook delicious simple recipes that's what it's all about and there we have google reviews that's connected to your proper google reviews from real people so that's it that's the sales page for that so i just want to recap over the settings now in wordpress recipe maker for the collections button so here we are folks back in the admin section of the nutritional site and i'm back in wordpress recipe maker and i'm in the settings and i'm in recipe collections and we're talking about the add to collection button so there it is folks we have when not logged in take the user to a specific page i explained how that works hide the button is obvious they won't see it the button does nothing they only get a message and then we have the option to go to the sales landing page and obviously folks that's what i'd be doing you know if you're selling a membership that's what you want you set the url of the page that you want to redirect to there and that's the tooltip message so folks 
you know, as I said, I'll put links to all this in the description for the video. This feature, the recipe collection feature, last time we looked, it's only available in the Elite version. So we want to put a link to that for you guys if you're interested in using it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any problems with anything, get in touch. Or if you have ideas for some tutorials, get in touch. I'll do them. No problem. I'm here to help you guys. And don't forget to join me over on the Food Blogger Marketing Boilover group there on Facebook. Thanks very much. Bye for now.